In this video, I want to discuss a technique for dealing with projects that have unequal lives. When we're comparing different investment projects, we would ideally like to compare projects that have the same life. And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. If one project lasts for five years and one project lasts for 10 years, when the five-year project ends, what are we going to do? Well, we might not be able to do anything, but perhaps we could do something. We could replicate the project. And in another video, I discussed the concept of replication, which was simply that we would just do project, the shorter term project, a second time until its life was exactly the same as the longer term project. Here we're going to talk about a different technique, one that's referred to as equivalent annual annuity. And what this approach does is it takes the NPV from each project and spreads it over the life of the project. So let's take a look at an example. Project A costs 70000 and lasts for three years. Project B costs 85000 and lasts for six years. Now the NPV at a weighted average cost of capital of 10% is a little over 11000 for Project A and a little over 19000 for Project B. Now if we were simply accepting the projects based on NPV, we would choose B over A because it has a higher NPV and therefore adds greater value to the firm. But that's not really fair because Project A lasts for half the time of Project B. So what are we going to do? Well, one way we can deal with this problem is we want to spread the NPV of Project A over its three-year lifespan, and we want to take the NPV of Project B and spread it over its six-year lifespan. So even though Project B has a much higher NPV, it's spread over more years. And Project A has a smaller NPV, but it's spread over only three years as opposed to six. So here I've just shown you how you can do this on your financial calculator, but you could certainly do this in Excel or any other spreadsheet. So what we're trying to find is the annuity, or in terms of the financial calculator, um, the payment, PMT. So N is three because the project lasts for three years. We have a 10% cost of capital, and we're going to spread this NPV over these three years, and we compute the payment, or we're computing the annuity that would um, result from having 11277 in the account spread over three years. We also do this for Project B. Now, Project B lasts for six years and has a, an NPV of $19,013.27 and we calculate this EAA, or equivalent annual annuity of 4,365.59. And we can see that once we spread them over the life of the project, Project A actually has a higher EAA. So even though it had a lower NPV, we're spreading this amount of money, or this amount of net present value, over a much shorter time period, and it turns out that A is the better project. So this is another approach we use for dealing with projects that have unequal lives, um, this equivalent annual annuity where we're um, spreading the NPV over the life of the projects.